Shalama. Shalama, everyone. I'm here to talk about the subject of God's name. Now, you know, the Lord had a lot of names. You know, everyone around the world called God names around the world. But in Aramaic, in Aramaic, they call Yah. What they have concluded to they call it Yah. They say, they say, they say, Ayah. The way you hear that word, it say Yah. And they have Yah in the Bible, means Lord. In Aramaic, they say Yah. If you check on, if you check on Exodus, chapter, chapter three, they call them, they they in a in a verse over here in Yiddish they use the word they use the word a a yeah a yeah a yeah a yeah other words say a ya or a ye you're not supposed to use no 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 e. Cause it's no, it's no e in Aramaic. You know, it's always be uh, no vowels on that. So it's no problem. You know, you could use it. You could use it because you know God got a lot of names. As long as your heart is unto Him, unto Yah. You call him El. You call him El Shaddai. You call him. You say. You, you say El Shaddai. You say El. You call him El. Now L is a Greek, is a Yiddish word, and Greek use that too to say L, E L, L. And Aramaic it don't use L. But since they use the E, you're not supposed to be there. And Aramaic you're supposed to use the word Y A H. And today they use the word E. Or even though they call him Hashem. Yes, if you check on Exodus uh, chapter chapter three, chapter three verse 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 thirteen. In verse thirteen, they say Moses said to God, "When I come to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your father has sent me." to you and they ask me what is his name what shall I say to them on verse 14 chapter 3 verse 14 and God said to Moses see in Yiddish version they use A.A. Usher A.A. In Aramaic translation that I'm looking at over here that I have it here. They use the word say say Aha Ya Asha I Haya Now the words not accept that that um that part there to be honest. They call it they call it Usha A Y I L or or Usha A Y A Y. No, it must be one. It's one. To make it simple, to make it simple to explain to you, the word Yah. It say I am. I am means Yah. I am who I am is <laughs> Yahweh. Yahweh is all together. So I'm going to say Yahweh. And Yahweh means I am, I am who I am. Because it still remains back to him. You still say Yah. Yah is I am. Yahweh is I am who I am. Other word means me. Me. The meaning. Yah means God. Yah means one. I am. Yahweh is I am who I am. And that's the meaning. 
and you know if you're comfortable to use um, the the word say um, L and L go ahead because you're still speaking uh, Greek and Yiddish to be honest because they use it even though they use it in vowels we use the word Yah and the real with the Hebrew and the Israelites and the Jews are news use Yah, Yah. Even Moses used word Yah. He speak Aramaic. He used word Yah. He used word Yah. And if you check on sounds, if you check on sounds, 123, it still remained the word Yah. On my Aramaic. On my Aramaic, it still remain Yah. If you listen carefully, on three, one hundred twenty-three, verse three. Rahama, Anala, Na. Yeah. See, I say yeah. Makaya. Now, that means have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Have. Have mercy on us. And that's what it means. Have mercy on us. And still, in Aramaic, it used the word Aramaic, and my Aramaic say yeah. If you check on the if you take every every Hebrew every every Bible, the Yiddish translation where they use the dots on it, that way they use vowels. Even 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 in Greek they use vowels, but we use the word Yah. And um, you know, God got a lot of names, and He do. Yes, He do. And He still accepts you, just as long as you have heart in Him, and respect Him, and follow Him. In his commandment and respect him and also remember Yahshua did say word Yah and he is he is Messiah he is Judah and he is a real Jew and he used the word Yah But the point is why I try to say is 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 to tell you that the word Yah means I am. And Yahweh or Yahweh means I am who I am. And thank you. And Shalama, Shalama Luka, Shalom to everyone around the world. And this is your host, Abdu. Thank you. Ya tabaya or ya baraka. Shalom.